Hey y'all, it's Carlos from North Dallas Soft Wash. So we got called out to this beautiful home. We're out here, they did a coping stone replacement, which are the stones that go around the pool. I guess one of them broke or whatever, and they replaced one of them, but because they replaced one that's brand new, you can see how dirty the other copings are. So they called us out to get rid of this. They weren't quite sure what it is. To me, it looks like red clay. So we're gonna do a red clay treatment all over the coping, wash it off, see how it turns out. Here's the stone they replaced. As you can see, it has a beautiful color to it. And then all the other stones, and even up there, you can see like all the red. That's what makes me think it's red clay. Texas in general, where we live, is notorious for the red soil. So it just gets all over and it is pretty dirty. So we'll treat all this coping and hopefully it turns out great. So now that we've properly identified it as red clay, we're gonna go ahead and pull our pressure washing hose all the way back to the pool. So whenever we apply the chemical, it's not sitting as long and we're ready to rinse immediately. Here we are at the trailer. We're gonna have to carry the hose back over there and go around the house. Here we go. So whenever we pull the hose, especially on a property like this, where there's just a lot of landscape, we don't want to ruin any of their landscaping or damage a tree, anything like that, because it's going to take time and it's going to take money to replace it, fix it, all that. We're a professional company and we want to leave professional results. So whenever I see the hose like this, I just grab it and I pull all the hose I can just straight onto the concrete. And I pretty much pull from one area to another and around. So I make the square, I pull all the hose to one spot, then I pull it around the corner so I'm never dragging it through the landscaping. You're about to see me do that now. Cool, so now that we got all the hose from the trailer to this corner, we're gonna pull it to the next corner. So even pulling all the hose we have from that corner to here, we're still short. So I'm gonna go get another 100 foot of hose out the truck. Like I showed you before, we we're a little short on hose. Luckily, I always keep some extra with me. So the 200 feet obviously isn't enough. We need another 100. So instead of taking from that and having to roll it back up, I'm gonna take 100 off this reel because we don't need it today and use it because it's a lot easier to put away whenever I'm finished with it. So I just grab this and I'll just pull it out, get that 100 foot, drag it over there, connect it and get going. Already got to the end of it right here. I'm just gonna disconnect it. Then we can take this whole 100 foot, carry it onto the back. Hopefully it's enough. Now that we have the 100 foot connected, we do the same thing. We pull it all the way out so the hose is there, and then we safely make it around the pool where we're not damaging anything around the pool or getting the hose inside the pool. We got the hose pulled where we need to. We gotta get all the fittings for the hose, the accessories, you know, the lance. We need the valve, all of that stuff out there. I just realized our buffer tank only has about 20 gallons of water in it. That's not enough for this job. So the red hose is our supply hose, which refills the buffer tank from these valves. I'm gonna unpin it. We're gonna go find us a spigot, a water spigot right there. We don't wanna damage any plants or ruin any of the landscaping. So the hose goes in between. We set it up. And then we make sure that the hose is laying in a good spot in between the plants. So since we're about to be spraying some chemical, we got to get all our safety equipment. Goggles, respirator, and gloves. You want to put all this on before you start mixing your chemical or pouring it into your pump sprayer because you don't want to inhale any of those fumes. You should always make sure that your respirator has the proper filters for vapor. Let's get going. Got everything we need right here for the pressure washing. We got our one foot 40 degree fan tip for rinsing. We got our valve to hook up to the pressure washer. Helps so we can swap tips easily. We got the four foot lance. And then we just have right here our 16 inch surface cleaner. That'll be just wide enough to go over the pool coping. Now that we have everything, I'm gonna carry all our stuff to the back and get it set up. Well, so now we're out here. We just pump up the pump sprayer and get going. All right, y'all, so we finished up. Actually just finished talking to the homeowner. He thinks it looks great, night and day difference. So now we're done. Now we gotta go get all the hose and head out to the next job.